What is up guys, it is the Gaming News Stuff here again, and today, we're doing a different kind of video. As you've probably already seen from the title, today I'm going to talk about my thoughts and ideas for if Impossible Creatures 2 was ever made. Now, as you'll see, I've got in the background playing probably some Impossible Creatures gameplay, and I might flash up some pictures of some images or some ideas of stuff I'd like to see as I'm talking about it. So, the first thing is lots more animals in the original game. I know the original game had lots of animals already, and there was definitely DLC to increase it to even more, but I'd like to see hundreds of animals. As we all know, there is hundreds of animals in real life, and I know it would take them longer to make all the animals and code them all, but I think it would be amazing. The possibilities of combinations would be even more endless. As you know from a bunch of mods that people made, there is heaps of other creatures that weren't included, and I'd love to see it in Impossible Creatures 2. The next thing is multiplayer. As we all know, it was it's very now very difficult to find a multiplayer uh, game on Impossible Creatures unless you find someone through a website who plays it. Um, maybe they could run it through Steam multiplayer and have a matchmaking or finding service so that it would be easy to find matches and be able to connect with other people who have a passion for impossible creatures and play against them or with them. Speaking of multiplayer as well, I think the idea of a co-op campaign or a two multiplayer campaign, which runs separately to the base one, would be amazing. If you guys have played games like Dawn of War 2 and all of that, the campaign on that have cooperative, so you can both control half the squad each which would be amazing for Impossible Creatures, I think, and would add a whole new aspect to sharing and playing with your friends and playing with others in Impossible Creatures. The next thing is an increased number of buildings or different buildings in the Impossible Creatures 2. Obviously, there's a, quite a few buildings in the first one, but if they increased it to even more and more capabilities of the buildings. For example, with the gyrocopter, it'd be great if the enemy who is a player, I mean a computer player, would be able to use the gyrocopter and they'd be able to pick up creatures and have the AI to move them around. Also obviously new buildings, maybe more defense buildings like a, a water defense building, uh, landmine type things, sound landmines like the sound beam towers and stuff like that. I think that would be a really awesome thing to have. Also Obviously, upgrading the appearance of everything in the game, because obviously that game came out... Impossible Creatures came out a long time ago. So if it was to be, I'd hope, graphically updated, um, and maybe give all the buildings new, uh, new appearances and make them look even better, make them really stand out, maybe with the anti-air tower, have lightning pulsing through it, so you can see that it's, like, charged up and ready to shoot down the enemies... Um, the next thing is, I know there was a lot of DLC, or two lots of DLC, officially made for Impossible Creatures. Um, but I'd like to see, whenever the, they made DLC animals or DLC creatures, that a DLC campaign came with it, or an add-on to the campaign, which included those creatures as stock in the campaign. Because as we know, downloading the DLC, you couldn't play the campaign with them. All you could do is multiplayer or player versus computer, which kind of limited those creatures, but if you could get them in the campaign, like, I'd love to see the woolly mammoth walking around in the wild on the campaign on a snow mission or something, you know what I mean? I reckon that would be epic. The next thing is that I think Impossible Creatures 2 should be incredibly moddable. I know number one was moddable, and it was quite moddable, but number two, even more so. Make it like Fallout style modding. So you can just download a program, go in there and just wreak havoc. You know what I mean? Make whatever you want. Make Have detailed instructions and tutorial tips on how to mod the game. If in case someone's new to modding and they want to try it out. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Now, they're just, they're just a few of the ideas that I have come up with for Impossible Creatures modding. and Not modding, sorry. Impossible Creatures 2 if it were to ever be made. 
Now, make sure, if you guys have any ideas, because I'm sure there's heaps of different things they could include that would just make the game absolutely amazing, make sure to leave those ideas in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this video, and I will read every comment that's left, hopefully, re and reply to them all. And let's just get this idea out of Impossible Creatures 2. And if anyone out there is a game coder or anything like that, or there's a group of people looking to work on a game, hit it up, try it out, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be called Impossible Creatures, could change the concept of it, but as long as it stays true, <laughs> I know that doesn't make sense with changing the concept, but as long as it's still Impossible Creatures and you can see Impossible Creatures in it, then hit it up, make a small indie game even. That would be amazing. I would pay money for that if someone made a spiritual successor to Impossible Creatures, like War for the Overworld was for Dungeon Keeper, I would pay n all the money for that, as long as it is great. You know what I mean? So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave your comment ideas in the comments. I just said comments twice. Make sure to like and subscribe, and peace out.